She was already dead? Fortnite is a good game? That's not true, don't joke about that. This video is from the Retro Liberty Archives with new edits and live shots. This video is dedicated to those moments in your life that will never escape your mind. These moments in gaming have cemented themselves in your gaming brain. Let's get into my top five moments in gaming. Number five. Contra 3, Introduction Nightmares. When I was a young little boy, I remember being extremely sick and watching reruns of Conan O'Brien. I told my mom I wanted to go rent a video game. She drove us down to the video store, and one of the first games I saw was Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Now I hadn't played the game up to this point, but by this time, I was already an expert at the original on the NES. Don't look at me! I could only imagine how much fun this game was going to be. My friends have already told me of all the great guns, the new radical bosses, and new top-down levels, and extreme music and action. As soon as I got home with this, I crawled right into my mom and dad's bedroom, because that's where the Super Nintendo was at the time because my dad was playing it, turned out the lights, and put in Contra 3. I can't tell you how excited I am right now. As soon as I flipped that game on, I heard that beautiful Konami sound come on. And then, this happened. That's as far as I made it, and I don't know if it was because I was sick, but I was scared out of my mind. I'm not joking when I say I saw that image that night in my nightmares. And just so all of you know out there, I swear when I say this, I actually have that reoccurring nightmare all the time. <laughs> Another dream where I was forced to play Fortnite. Number four. Super Mario RPG. He's on my team? Now this may come to a shock <gasps> to some of you, but I was and still am not a big fan of RPGs. Huh? The only time I ever really played any RPGs was during the 16-bit era, and they were amazing. <laughs> With games like Chrono Trigger, A Link to the Past, Final Fantasy III, Earthbound, and a load more. And adding a Mario RPG game that was being developed by Square only added to another grade on the list. Partnering up with characters like Princess Toadstool, Toad himself, Mallow and Gino, which I'm still waiting for them to be brought back into another game. Or someone I've been asking for since the Nintendo 64 days of Smash, Mallow and Gino. When this game actually came out, it did not disappoint. The story was great, the characters were great, the graphics were amazing, and kind of reminded me of Donkey Kong Country. The game was isometric, which is something I normally wasn't into, but I ended up loving it. Now this game was a little bit like your typical Mario story trying to save the princess in a way, but something happened during this game. Something strange. Something I thought would never happen. Mellow got announced in Smash? Why, why would you even joke about that? Do you really think you can trust Bowser? Bowser joined my team? He's on my side now? I was taught all my life that he was the enemy. In Super Mario Brothers 3, in the instruction booklet, Bowser is not actually even listed as an enemy. Hmm. When this happened, I remember pausing the game and running into my brother's room and saying, dude, you need to see this. You need to see this. You won't believe your eyes. We ran into the living room and he said, what, 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 what is it? I said, look. Look at this! He then replied, Oh, Bowser is on your team. Cool! I beat that game like a month ago. Number 3 Super Mario Bros. 2 Perfect Slumbers Super Mario Bros. 2 on the Nintendo is a game that I have loved since the moment I started playing it. It was released in 1988, but I didn't get my hands on it till I was about 10 years old in 1995. Now if you know about our show, then you know I love Super Mario Bros. 2. So many things stick out to me in this game, such as the amazing music, the 
fact that you can now choose from four different players, picking up enemies, and the somewhat dark levels. Many of the enemies in this game give me quite a scare, such as Mauser, Triclide, and freaking Fanto! The second you grab a key, it's after you! Now I know you can simply throw the key down to get away from him, but sometimes I'd be in such a frantic rush and so scared, I would just keep running and holding the key and just forget! But that is not my most memorable moment in this game. The one thing that sticks out to me that is most memorable is the ending. Now I know this pisses a lot of people off, but I have to disagree. I remember when that beautiful music started playing, I just stared at the screen in awe. My young little eyes had never seen cartoon looking graphics like that before in a video game. And to add on top of that, seeing the cast of enemies made me feel like they were now my friends. Now this to me is still one of my favorite game endings of all time, and I will truly never forget it. Number 2 Silent Hill The Phone Call when Konami released Silent Hill, I was ecstatic. As someone who absolutely loves horror movies, hearing about games such as this coming out, well, you can imagine my excitement. From the moment Silent Hill starts up, you are greeted with one of my most favorite intros to any video game ever. Now, when I was making this list and actually decided to do my most memorable moments in gaming, this is the very first game that came to my mind. But what moment to pick? The nurses? Hmm. The amazing puzzles? Hmm. No. The phone call. That freaking, freaky phone call. While Harry Mason, you, are looking for your daughter, Cheryl, who went missing in your car accident, you walk into a room and you see a phone. You try and use it because you are always looking for clues. When you pick it up, it says, can't use phone, implying that it's offline or disconnected. But when you walk away and you are about to leave the room, this happens. Cheryl! When I was younger and playing this, I put down the controller and I literally yelled for my brothers to come in the room. I couldn't play anymore. Now, as a father this time around, this whole game and especially this scene literally makes me sick to my stomach thinking about this situation. And for that reason, this moment easily lands at number two. Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, The Childhood. Link's Awakening on the Game Boy is my second favorite Zelda game of all time, and for good reason. The game is beautiful from start to finish. Now what put this at the top of my most memorable moments in gaming list? Well, this may seem like cheating, but it's not actually a moment in the game. What? You can't do that! Yes I can. Well, when I was around 11 years old, I remember one night where my two older brothers and I set up a tent in our backyard, all carried a TV out there into the tent, ran an extension cord out there, and started playing Link's Awakening with the help of our Super Game Boy. I also recall my mom brought out Oreos for us, and we played the game the whole night. We were totally enthralled with this game. We had so much fun that night switching off who plays, helping each other figure out the puzzles, and bonding the way we haven't since then. Now we do still play games together once in a while, but that night was something special. We all fell asleep that night while the game was still on. 
We woke up that next morning and looked at the TV. Then we all looked at each other and nodded, and we all just knew it was time to keep playing. I actually still have that same Super Game Boy that we used that night. I wouldn't sell it for anything. It means the world to me. A 65-year-old lady I work with recently came to work with a mint condition copy of Link's Awakening. Now for some reason, and I don't know why, I don't own this game. She walked up to me and said, here, I know you like video games, so I thought you would like this. I didn't even respond at that moment. I just stared at her. I didn't even know what to say. I can truly say, and I know it sounds a little weird, but I got a little choked up when she gave it to me. It was at that moment that I knew that Link's Awakening as a whole can easily be claimed as my number one on my most memorable moment in gaming. And that was my top five moments in gaming. I would love to know yours. All of ours are gonna be completely different depending on our life in gaming. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one.